you. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The love of God. The, the love of God. The love of God. God bless you. God bless you. Keep God first place, man. Black, what up? They, they dogged it. They dogged it up. <laughs> Dang. Peace, peace be still. Peace be still. All right. God bless you. God bless you. No problem, man. No problem. When I, when I, when I come back, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get more, all right, for y'all. <laughs> Amen. Go to God. Go to God. Amen. No problem, man, no problem. Amen. This is what love is. Uh, this is what love is. Love is, love is helping your brothers and sisters. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. I appreciate it. Love is, God bless you. Some people say they love God, but they, they ignore the people that should need. Those people are hypocrites. They're not real Christians. They're not real believers. Bible says, yeah, they all fled. Oh, man. Bible says, how can you say you love God and you hate your brother and sister you see every day? People waste their money on nonsense, foolishness, and people are around them. They say they're religious. I believe in Yahweh or Allah or whatever, and they ignore the people around them. Those are, those are people who are false. Those are not real converts. The people who are filled with God's spirit will do what they can for the less fortunate. But we want to waste our money on, on other things. Nonsense, alcohol, strippers, cigarettes, all these things. But God say, we want to, I want to give you the resources to bless those, help those in need. And I'm praying for all of you. I'm praying for your lives to be better. I'm praying for your lives to be better. Financially better, mentally better, emotionally better better hallelujah hallelujah don't don't give up man don't give up don't don't commit suicide don't give in to depression don't give in to anxiety hold on hold on to hope hold on oh man mercy mercy come on you fought right bible says fight the good fight of faith fight it's a fight to survive. Times are hard. Times are hard for others more than others. Times is hard. But don't quit. Uh, one thing I know about a cloudy day, the sun is still shining. It's still beaming. So I'm saying, whatever you're going through, if you're an addict to alcohol, I pray you may be free in Jesus' name. If it's an addict to whatever it is, drugs, narcotics, I pray you may be free in Jesus' name. I pray you will not stay the same, that you'll be healed, you'll be delivered, you'll be set free by the power of God today. Today is a day of salvation. Salvation has come to this block. Oh, it has come. The preacher has come to give you a word, to encourage you, to help you, to guide you, to lead you, to help you to live better, stronger, wiser, better than before. Hallelujah. Bible says, oh, those who endure shall be saved. We will face 
persecution. We will face hard times. I got hard times like anybody else. But but I don't I, I don't let go of God ever. You say you want to hear about the thing with Jesus and Peter? Some of you wondering what's up what's up with this shirt? This shirt is about Jesus. Jesus told Peter they were on they were on the, the water. On, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the boat, right? Christ was, was on the water. And Peter told, no, Christ told Peter, come to me. So who can go on the water? Walk on the water? God. Only God. We can't. We'll drown. Because we have limited power and we, have, we, we, we can't do that. It's against the, the laws of nature, right? So Christ told Peter, come out into the water. Hold my hand. You know what Peter did? He took his eyes off of Jesus, like most of us do. Look at the storm. Oh, it's a stormy waves around me. It's stormy. The waves are blowing all around. What happened? He began to sink. What happens when you take your eyes off of God? You sink. You take your eyes off of God, you sink. You sink in depression, you sink in anxiety, you sink in suicide, you sink in domestic violence, you sink when you take your eyes off of God. And Peter began to sink. He took his eyes off of Jesus. And what happened? He said, Lord, he said, Lord, save me, save me, save me. And, and Jesus took him up by the hand and lifted him out of that cesspool, of, 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 the, of the water, I mean, the water. And brought him up. That's what this shirt means. That means whatever, whatever you are drowning in, whatever you are drowning in, God can lift you up, lift you out. You gotta believe it. You gotta you, you gotta work for it. You gotta strive for it. And believe. I don't care how long I've been in this mess, I will come out. I won't re remain. Drowned, drowning. I will remain drowning in anger. I will remain drowning in alcoholism or drugs. I won't remain drowning in promiscuity. I won't. I won't. Cause I got a, I got a purpose. I got dreams. I won't drown. I won't. God can lift you up and lift you out. Hallelujah. Do you have a number I can reach you at? Yeah, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell you later. Right. You want to be, yeah. Amen. You want, you want, you want to be, you want, you want to be free? What, what, what do you want to be free from? The shelter. The shelter. You in the shelter? How? What else you want to be free from? From the pain and suffering. Pain? What? Pain and suffering. Ooh. What up? Like, like what? Because I really do miss my wife. Miss your wife? She, she in the state? She's in California. She's in California. She wants to come over. Yeah. But I don't have a phone to text her. Oh, Jesus. How to, oh, God. Oh, God. That's why I asked you for help. I see what? That's why I asked you for help. That's for help. I see. I don't care what kind of phone it is, it's mm. not like a text on mm. hangouts, that's mm. all I care about. Yeah. That's why I need a phone. Yeah. She's only there worrying about mm. me. Yeah. How long have you spoke to her? How long? Been for a while. Been a while? Time I see. Oh. That's why. Bikes are noisy. <laughs> that's why I need a phone. Mm. She's worried about me. Yeah. She thinks I'm with someone else. And that's yeah. Not yeah. Well, I know. Find some way you're gonna get a phone. Some way. All right. Just don't give up. Don't quit. All right. Continue. Continue. Ask around and do and do what you can. What else? You when you want to be free. When you want to be free. You want to be free from. You want to be free from the smoking out. Why do you what why do you why do you smoke? Why do you smoke? Because it calms my nerves. It calms your nerves. So you don't you don't pray? 
I try to, but it's not all that I don't know. You got, you got to let the Lord in. You got to let the Lord in. You have a radio? Nothing like that? <laughs> That's mm. why I need a phone to listen to the radio. Mm. To hear the word of God. Yeah, yeah. So, start off with prayer, though. Until, until you get the phone, start off with, with prayer. All right? Let, 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 let and if you can, and, um, let God in. Um, a lot of these things that we go to to give us peace, they have side effects. They, they damage our, our health. But one thing with prayer, prayer never destroys our mental health. Prayer it enhances our mental health. Prayer enhances our emotional health. Prayer enhances our overall health. So, I'm not saying God can free you and deliver you. In one day, some, sometimes people, it takes steps. One by one. You want to be free today? You want to be free? Is there anything personal in your life? If you want to share, you want to be, you, you want, God bless you. You want, you want to be free from? I just want to any, any, any other bad habit that you're aware of? That you know you should let go of? Well, I do. You, you want freedom? I do drink alcohol. Wow. Bible says to be sober minded. So, the alcohol is also destroying your liver. The alcohol is destroying your, your kidneys. It is showing your brain cells. It, it that's one of the reasons why this homelessness is the alcohol drinking, the drunkenness. No, I got homeless. One reason why. I got homeless. One factor. I got homeless because my mm. grandfather passed away. Yeah, your, your grandfather passed away. And I couldn't pay the rent. And you you couldn't pay the rent. It was too much. Mm. So you so you relied on your grandfather for financial stability, but you didn't find a way on your own, apart from him, to have financial security stability. Financial security is it enough? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now I give out the stimulus check. I'm trying mm. to save up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I understand. Let me, let me, uh, God, give it, give this man peace in Jesus' name. G give him health in Jesus' name. You won't be free today. You won't be free from the smoking today. The alcoholism today. You'll be free, and to live, and to live, and to live longer, stronger, and healthier. I pray you be, you may be free. Holy Spirit, take over. Everything that this young man has been struggling with, I pray you may give him peace. I pray you may give him strength. I pray you may give him a new lease on life. I pray you may, may, he may be free from every unwholesome habit, every damaging habit. He may be free. Everything that has been holding him in captivity, he may be loose. Free him from alcohol addiction. Free him from the smoking addiction. Free him from any other unwholesome emotion that has him holding him in captivity, holding him in bondage. Liberate him, oh God. Free him, oh God. Give him strength, oh God. I pray he may be able to, to speak to his wife. I pray they can get re reconnected, if it's your will, reunited. I pray he may not rely on narcotics, drugs, alcohol for, for peace, but he may rely upon you, prayer, prayer, prayer. Trusting in you with his whole heart, mind, and soul. And only do that which will edify his soul and his mind. I pray me break every shackle. Everything, oh God. That is holding him in captivity. I pray may free him. Release him every demonic, any demonic influence. Any demonic force may be released from this man right now. In Jesus' name. Free him, oh God. Release him. Purge him. In Jesus' name, I pray the power of God be upon you. I pray you may, I pray you may, may walk anew, walk afresh, walk and experience the love of God, the peace of the Lord in, in, in your heart, in your soul, and in your mind. I don't want to go past. I don't want to go back to what has been killing me, to what's yeah. been damaging me. Don't. I don't want to cry. Yeah. I hope you get better. Yeah. I mean that, sir. Huh? I mean that. You mean it? In a while, my you want to you be you want to be better today, right? Heal today, set set free today. And whenever and whenever and whenever the temptations come, whenever the urges come, you're gonna fight against it. If it means you got you got to get away from certain people, you got to get get away from certain environments and get, and get along by yourself, because sometimes being around certain people, certain environments, especially like this. You give me tempted to go right back. I know. Right back. Being around certain people. All right. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. 
How long do I have to get to know you for you to get me a phone? I'm not gonna answer that. Okay. I'll let you know. But without it, I'm gonna let God lead me, okay? But um, let's continue to ask around. Um, and ask anybody else that can help you because I, I, I help I helped you out. I know. And one and one way today. Thank you. All right. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm only one person. Alright? I try I try my best though, you know? Thank you. We'll see what happens in the future. Okay? You have a, you have a Bible at home? You have a Bible? I'm gonna try to get a Bible for you if I see you again. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'll always be out here. You always out here every day? Every day? Okay. Not every day, but I I, I live in Randall's Island. All okay. I do is take the M35 bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Just let me know. What day you coming back and what time you'll be out here, I'll come by and see you again. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you are my friend. Yep, amen, amen. I'm glad I found a friend like you. <laughs> Not because you fed me, but uh, because you prayed for me. Pray for you. Yeah. Friend. Fr friend is a very, uh. <laughs> that's a very, uh. Deep, deep word. Well, I, I know. I know. Tr what I do know is true. True friendship is 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 revealed over time. True friendship is revealed. Uh, you how you and that person uh how you how you mingle and, and what you do for one another. You know. So, because honestly, most people are are associates. Or they're, they're comrades. There are uh, acquaint acquaintances, but friends is a deeper meaning. Friend is somebody. Friend is somebody who who will be with you or go or or be there for you when you're like in the sick in the, in the hospital room, and they need some company, and and, and they're gonna be there for you. Friend of somebody who, who will come and know that you're having a hard time, and give, maybe give you a little money, give you a little food, give you a little water. Somebody that will call you not not only when they need something from you, but because they want to see how, how you're doing. Because yeah. some, some people only call you when they want something out of you. Those are not real friends. That's why I said friendship is proved over time. You know. So. Just like my wife does with me. Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. At one o'clock in the morning, she texts me and wakes me up. She goes, "How are you?" He texts you. When I used to have a phone. Oh. She always goes, "How are you?" Yeah, that's how are you. That's good. She goes, "I miss you." Yeah, yeah. That's that's good. When's the last time you been to church? Not for a while, sir. Mm -hmm. Not for a while. I would like to go back. Sound good. I, I'm Greek. Mm -hmm. I'm Greek. You Greek? Where you from? Crete. Crete. Mm -hmm. I'm from Crete, the island in Greece. Crete? C R E T E? Oh, that's it. I read about that in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Honestly, it is crazy. I think I think Paul Paul the Apostle. He, that's one of the places he traveled to. Yeah, that's, that's in Greece. You said Greece. Oh, it's yeah. an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greece has over one thousand islands and more. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. the only country with the most islands. Mm. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. This I only know two. Mm. This Athens, Crete. There's Saloniki, mm. and there's a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. I love Greek food. I, I, I imagine. Usually people love food that's part of their culture. Things like that. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little preaching, all right? After that, we're we, we gonna talk more. You gonna stay or you gonna leave? You got things to do. I can stay out for a little bit of rain. Oh, it's about to rain? Yeah, really? it looks like it. Yeah. Alright, so... Hey, look, you just got that phone? No, I had this for a little while. That is nice. Yeah. Now I came out with the S21. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're up to date.
I just got a little sick from the AC at the shelter. Shelter? Oh, yeah, yeah. Too much AC. Yeah. That's they true. They ordered me medication. Yeah. And I told the farmers my, my insurance pays for my medication. Mm -hmm. And he still wanted money out of me. Yeah. So I had to leave it. Mm -hmm. Let me. Let me, uh. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about something. Something that's very, very serious. Okay. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God shall get His glory. God will get His praise all the time. God will get his praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're gonna read about a particular incident that happened that happened recently. Chow. There was a guy in Boise. Child killer in Boise, mass stabbing, sentenced to life in prison. What happened? It was a six hour hearing. The mother of a slain three year old girl dragged screaming from the courtroom. After throwing a bottle at Timmy, Timmy Kinner. What happened? He was uh, sentenced to two fixed life sentences without parole. Followed by 120 years behind bars. And the woman was mad. The mother was mad. Rightly so. She finally got justice for her daughter. Woman screaming, Ruya! 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 That's the little daughter who died. This guy pled guilty, first degree murder, 11 other charges at a mass stabbing at a birthday party. Three adults, six children were wounded, and, and the little girl, the little girl, Ruya, she died as well. She was sitting outside, according to the mother. Had no idea that the man would murder her. Just having fun, just by herself. The mother came and saw the little girl. Eyes wide open, dead. Three-year-old girl, dead. My Lord. She, she, just, she just had to go close her eyes. This man, Kenner, was diagnosed with schizophrenia, diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Oh man. People say he was a mentally disturbed, ill man. What happened? He was abandoned in a storage shed at age two. He was showing signs of possible schizophrenia by age seven. Ended up a caretaker for two siblings with special needs. Now here's the kicker. Both parents were addicted to crack cocaine. So what happened? Hey, I used to get addicted to crack cocaine. Uh-oh, you are free now? Come on, man, amen. So these parents were addicted to crack cocaine and they had sex and oh no cocaine is, is destructive you know you know it is you know it is man <laughs> don't play around man they these parents had they had sex and they had, and they were filled with crack cocaine and their their son 
had a mental disorder. And what happened? They ignored their child. The mental, emotional needs of the child was, was neglected. This is why only people who are healthy mentally should be having sex. Two people on crack cocaine have no business having sex and are giving birth to a, a mentally deficient person. If those two crackheads never had sex, that, that little girl would still be alive. Uh-oh. Yeah. If those two crack parents would have not had sex, the little girl Ruya would still be alive. Because the crackheads neglected their children, their child, and the child grew up with mental illnesses, bipolar disorder. This is why God puts parameters in the Bible for uh, proper sexual health. Ideally, two people are married, man and woman. But the enemy comes in, the devil comes in and says, it's okay to have, to have sex if you're mentally sick. It's okay to have babies if you are broke. It's okay for two men and, and two women to get together and make sweet love. No, no, that's not love. That's not love, that's lust. It's lust. Man and woman, that's what you hear. A sperm cell and an egg is why you are here. The chromosome show. The chromosome show. Sperm and egg. Male and female. Two healthy individuals. If you're mentally sick, you got no business having babies. If you're mentally sick, you got no business having sex. It, wherever, whether it's a bedroom, bathroom, basement, attic, Wash room, you got no business having sex if you're mentally sick. Because mentally sick parents give birth to mentally sick babies. Yep. Young Ruya died tragically. Young Ruya. Young Ruya Kadir. Yeah. So, Ruya Kadir would still be alive if two crackhead parents never had sex. He, she would still be alive. She would still be alive. And Kenner bounced from homeless shelter to jails to prison over and over again. The, the, the guy, he lived a very unstable life. So people live a very unstable life are mentally unstable. So she wanted, and the mother of the slain child was working hard to try and give a better life for her child, but sadly the child's life was cut short. Sadly. So after the ruling, her anger just exploded. And it took three years for this guy to get sentenced to life in prison. This guy this guy stabbed her. He stabbed her in the heart. Took her life. What takes, makes a person do that? People say mental disorders. I say even beyond that, they're full of devils, full of demons. That is even the root issue. Beyond the mental disorder, the 
hormonal disruptions. It is devils that is influencing these people. Where's the love? If you don't know Jesus, you don't got true love. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know true love. And this man, Kinnear, didn't know Jesus. He was caught fooling around on alcohol, on cocaine. This guy would masturbate in front of fee female staff in prison. Sexually sick. Mentally sick. Uh-oh. He was a very violent person. Oh no. How would somebody just do that to a little girl? The evil in this world is pervasive. He said, you know what he said? In court, Kenner apologized for what he had done, saying that he wasn't in control. He hoped he could be forgiven. Yo, so if he was in happy control, who was? I tell you, the devil was in control of that man. He said, I never planned to kill this little baby. I never planned to hurt these people at all. I was just sitting there on the bench at the entrance to the park, trying to clear my mind of these crazy thoughts. So this murderer had a some crazy thoughts in his mind. He said he was not in control. So who was? Who was? The devil was in control. That's what it was. And the Bible says to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You see, he, he had crazy thoughts. Yet Kenner was neglecting Bible study, neglecting gospel music. He had crazy thoughts. Probably going to the club scene, the bar scene, crazy thoughts. He was renewing his mind with pure things. The Bible says, whatsoever is holy, pure, of good report, trustworthy, think on these things. But a lot of you have very negative thoughts, evil thoughts, destructive thoughts. Which is why you live a very destructive life. Your thought life is horrible. He said, I do feel like it was an accident because I didn't do it intentionally. I lost my mind and I lost my life all because of a few minutes and one bad day. My Lord. So this guy, this guy was blaming the crazy thoughts in his mind, blaming the crazy thoughts in his mind for his actions. Yeah, you know why? Because sin don't bring lasting satisfaction. No, sin gives you a temporary high, a temporary high, and you're left with depression, you're left with suicide, you're left with unwanted babies, STDs, one, two, three, STD, he said one, three, college students have STD, that's what he say, or people, one of them, one, two, three, STD, one, two, three, STD, one, two, three, STD, you know why, because people don't have Self-control. No. Some of you, I'm, a, I'm around a lot of homeless people, and you have to get free. You got to get to the root of your issue. If it's alcohol, you got to work to get free. If it's out, cocaine, heroin, you got to work to get free. You can't, you can't hold a job, you can't handle a business well if you're always on your alcohol, on your drugs. You gotta get to the root of the issue. You gotta go to a church. 
you got to get around the, the wrong people because most of you stay the same. You keep drinking the same thing. You keep going to the same places. You remain in bondage because if you don't make a change, you're going to stay in bondage land. Yeah. Some of you waste your money on that Hennessy, the vodka, tequila, wasting the money on strippers and gambling. Waste, waste, waste. Don't waste your money. Don't spend your money on what does not satisfy. The alcohol don't satisfy. The random sex don't satisfy. The homosexuality doesn't satisfy. No, living in sin does not satisfy. Oh no, but Jesus satisfies. Jesus satisfies all the days of my life. When you come to Jesus, you realize your need, your brokenness. You realize, you realize you need him. You realize without Jesus, we're broken. You realize without the love of Christ, we're broken. That's why we got police officers around us. Because it's a broken world. The police are here because it's a broken world. With crime and disaster. I heard the other day that Popeyes over there got robbed. Or by some gut by some people with guns. It's a broken world when armed robbers will come to a store and rob the place with people with guns pointing in their face. It's a broken world. And Christ can help this world to get mended one by one. First of all, we gotta stop playing our gangster rap music. We, we, we like play our Biggie Smalls, Tupac, uh, Nicki Minaj, 50 Cent. That's one thing that is destroying our communities. The wrong music. The wrong message. Wrong message. Wrong music. Wrong lifestyle. Hallelujah. Because the music will put a wrong message in your mind. So you live a very uh, broken lifestyle. The music will say, just have random sex. The music, yeah. The gangster rap music will say, just get a B-I-T-C-H pregnant. Have a hoe. Have all these hoes. Oh no, it's a broke. You don't want to be depressed. You don't want STDs. You don't want gonorrhea and syphilis now. No. Yo, bro. Tell that hoe, go home. Tell that hoe, go home, bro. Go find a wife. Go find a wife, bro. You don't want a you don't want a side piece. You want a main piece, a main one. Oh no! Don't go! Don't go for a hoe. Go for a real woman who will satisfy you always. The Bible says, "Let the wife, let let the breast of your wife satisfy you." All the days of your life, bro. Your wife, not a hoe. Your wife, not a slut. And if you're a slut, you need to repent. If you're a prostitute, you need to repent. If you're a pimp daddy, you need to repent. If you're a drunkard, a homosexual, a pedophile, a murderer, a thief, you need to repent. You're going to die and answer to God. It's as simple as that. It's a point for a man wants to die and face judgment. Yeah. You got to stop watching your, stop watching your porn. No. Stop playing gangster rap music. Putting death in your mind. Play some gospel music. Play some gospel tunes in your cars. Go on your phone and go to the Caleb station. Go to the gospel station and put some life-giving words in your mind. Yeah. Put some real words 
in your mind. Pure words in your mind. Let's show each other some love, man. Let's let's show some love, man. Is this is your brother, man? This is a human being, a human being, a human being. All right. This is why the world is so broken. We hate one another. Now let's love one another. Love one another. All right. Give me a feet right there, man. Give me a feet right there. Jesus says, love one another. Love your enemies. All right, boss. You, you can go. You, you can go. You can go. He can go. He go. He go. Yeah, I got, I got him. I got him. Jesus says, love one another. Hallelujah. And don't steal from one another. All right. He's good. He's good. He's good. We may need to call uh, 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 EMS with this guy very soon. I may have to call very soon. Jesus says, love one another. Even I have, as I have loved you. Amen. What? All right, come on, man. Come on, man. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Yeah, move away, from, move away from the side of the road. I don't want, I don't want no car to run over your feet. All right, roll over, roll over. All right, roll over, roll over. All right, in Jesus' name. Rise up, rise up, in Jesus' name. Get up, get up, in Jesus' name. Rise up, be a man, be free from your drugs, be free from your drugs in Jesus' name. Rise up, be a man, and take charge of your life. Come on, get up. It's a broken community, it's a broken block, broken lives. Rise up in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. Rise up! Hallelujah! Rise up! This is why everyone's so broken. The drugs, the alcohol, wrecking their lives. Wrecking their lives. The alcohol and the drugs. You need to be free. You need to be free in Jesus' name. You need to be free, man. All that K2 nonsense got to go. All that K2 got to go. Alcohol, go. Drugs, all that is destroying your life. Destroying all your lives. All your lives. What are you going to say? Enough is enough. Sick and tired? I'll be sick and tired. When are you going to say that? Your way don't work. This don't work. Your way don't work. It leads to this. It leads to that. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Say, Lord, I repent. Lead me, Lord. You know where I should go. Lead me, Lord. You know where I should go. And the way I should go. We need peace. We need healing. And 
deliverance. Oh, yes, we do. Healing and deliverance from this man, from the devils, from the unholy practices that we have been doing all our lives. Yes, we do. The Bible says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on you. I put the gun down and pick up a Bible. I said, put the gun down, the, the, the Glock and the Saudi and all that. But Jesus said, you live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. That's what he said. You live by the gun, you're going to die by the gun. There was gun violence up in these streets because we don't know how to solve our problems. A better way. There's a better way than guns. There's a better way than guns. There's a better way than the knife. Than a stabbing. There is a better way than a gun or a knife. There's a better way. There's a better way to solve our problems than weapons. Than vile weapons. Bible says though weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah. You live by the gun, you're gonna die by the gun. You live by the sword, you're gonna die by the sword, as the Bible says. You need a better way to solve your problems. Because violence just brings more violence. You need forgiveness. You need patience. You need tranquility. You need prayer. That's what you need. You need worship in your homes. You don't need, you, you need more booze. Boo! Boo to booze! Boo! Boo to booze! Wrecking your life. All these homeless people wrecking your life. Alcohol, drugs, hoes, hoes, side hoes. You need, you need, you need, you need to repent. You need to turn away. Turn away. From your dirty, stinking, filthy lifestyle. In Jesus' name. Turn away. Hallelujah. All the preachers out here. We're not staying in our buildings. We ain't staying in our churches. We going out. We go out to the trenches to raise war against the enemy, against the devil and his agents. We raise a war. Hallelujah. No building can hold this preacher in. Oh no, I'm too powerful for that one. I'm too powerful and anointed to stay in the building. Yeah, guys are hurting out here. The guys are in pain. And Jesus says to go out and encourage one another. Because I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a bona fide Christian. I'm a real Christian. I'm a real one. Yeah. I'm a real one. Stop. Yes. The word of God says be free today. Be free. Be free in the renewal of your mind. Glory to God. God wants to set the captives free. You don't got to be a and captivity to sit any longer. Let evil stole steal no more. Let the adult, let the adulterer go home to his wife. Let the homosexual live straight and find the opposite gender. Let the let the gun let the gunman put away his guns and pick up a Bible. I gotta get a few Bibles. Let the hole be a hole no more. Let the, the thief steal no more. Let the smoker put down the cigarettes. Let the drunkard put down the bottle. It's wrecking your mind, it's wrecking your marriage. Let he, let the atheist believe in God. In Jesus' name. Let those who have done evil Turn to righteousness. Let those who have been living in darkness turn to the light. Turn to the light. 
let those living away from God, rebelling from God, turn to the Lord. Yes. There is no peace for the wicked. Stop living depressed. Come to Jesus. Repent. You're depressed. You're suicidal. Put the rope down. Put the medication down. Don't overdose. Or overdose on the Lord. Overdose gospel music. Overdose gospel music. Huh? You, they gotta be free. They gotta be free from that stuff. They gotta be free. Enough of that. Enough of that. It's wrecking your life. The K2 or the K4, whatever is coming out, is wrecking you. Hey, it's, stop the it's wrecking you, right? Come on. It's wrecking them, man. God, God said to be free from your K2. Be free from that from the K2. You need Jesus too. Okay, but uh, I mean, o only, only. <laughs> you want me free today, man? You, you want me free today? You can be free today, man. What, what, do you, what do you want? What do you want today, man? What, what, what do you want? I'm on life. You're on life? No, you on something, man. You on a drug? What drug is that? You can be free from that drug today. No. You don't, you don't got to drink anymore, man. Come on, now. You can be free from alcohol, man. You can be free from Hennessy, man. Come on, now. Be a man. Live a clean life. I'll tell you one thing. Got to be free. It's a goddamn system. It's a rotation. Mm -hmm. Without the fucking medication, there ain't no don't goddamn Yeah, we ain't got no fucking money. Hey, check it out. No guy, no more check it out. No medication, man. Check no it out. no no more K2, man. No more alcohol, man. Be free, man. Well, Get your life better. Get your life in order. No you, can, you, can be, you, you can be free. In Jesus' name. Time to be free. Time to forgive. 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 This God throw it at K2. Say, oh, say LeBron oh, James, oh, okay. throw this away from me. Or oh, Tom Brady, throw this away from me, Tom Brady. Throw away the K2, Tom Brady. Help me do it, Tom Brady. You can throw, you can throw real far, real far away, Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, Go find your foot. Oh, yeah. Go find your quarterback to throw away the K2 and alcohol. Far away. It's wrecking your mind. It's wrecking your life. It's wrecking your 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 body. You you need healing. You need healing. You need deliverance. Homelessness. Throw away the K2. It's not good for you. Pray and ask the Lord. We're gonna go to a detox program. We're gonna go to a detox program, huh? When are you gonna go? When are you gonna go to to a church? Ask God for healing. When are you gonna go? When are you gonna go? The woman in the Bible had an issue for twelve years. She had an issue. For 12 years, she never gave up. She kept looking for the remedy, looking for the help. Some of you are easily giving up. A man for 38 years was looking for, for his healing. By the pool of Bethesda. 38 years. What's your excuse? The winners don't give up. The winners don't quit. In the midst of problems, Harlem, it's Harlem, right? We Harlem? We Harlem? No, no. In the midst of difficulties, the winners 
don't quit. The winners keep on keeping on. The winners never quit. So the woman said to G, she says, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I can be made well. She was reaching, she was reaching and reaching and reaching and she touched him. The woman with the issue of blood in the Bible went to other physicians, many doctors who could do nothing good for her, nothing for her. But she went to the one, finally, that could help her. And she got a touch from the Lord and she was healed. Deliver. If you want to be free and live the next life, a better life, you need to want it. You got to work for it. You got to work for it. You got to strain for it. You got to push for it. Push, push, push. You got to want it. You got to strain for it. Like the guy in the gym working out, pushing, pushing, trying to get some big old muscle. You got to push for it. Work for it. Like the, like, like the pregnant girl, as the baby could come out the vagina. Push, 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 push. That's the only way you're going to see a breakthrough. That's the only way you're going to see a breakthrough. If you push, 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 push. You can't be giving up. You can't be giving in, brothers. All the world has rejected you. But not me. It's all me. Most of the world don't care about you guys. But I care about you. Most of the world are living for themselves. Because the love of many will grow cold. God bless you, boss. But I'm here as a servant of the living God. To encourage you and to say, the day is the day of salvation. Brothers, yeah, today is the day of salvation to get cleaned up. I come against, I come against your anger. Some of you have anger problems. Be free from your anger. Be free. Be free from your anger. Be free from your promiscuous lifestyle. Be free from the smoking. Be free from the alcohol. Be free. Be free. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. I'm laboring for you. Yeah. Go to a, go to a church service. Go to a detox program. Go, 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 get up and go, 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 go. Oh, go, 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 gadget. Go, 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 Yeah, yeah. Go to a detox program. Go to a church service program. Y'all wasting away. You got a purpose. You got dreams. Don't waste away your life. Say no to the hoes. Say no, ho. I didn't go home with you, ho. But you can't do that. You want to see a pornography every night. You can't do that, can you? You're too weak. You're too weak in the flesh. You're too weak. Say no to that ho, bro. No, ho. I ain't go home with you, ho. No. Heck no. Heck no, get out of here. What's your disease vaginas? What's your disease vaginas? Tell them that. So I got with the, with the disease penis. No. 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 I ain't going with these any these dis Tell them that, man. Don't be like. Don't be weak. Be strong. Yes. 
Be strong. Yes, you can't tell them no. Tell these hoes no.